Hi guys, welcome to another Fridays with Max, even though this Friday we're not really doing much. I thought since this is a mini project, I'd share it with you all. What I've made here is a reduction bracket for a 120 millimeter fan to an 80 millimeter fan on a computer because I'm installing a, an 80, meter, 80 millimeter fan in the socket of a 120 millimeter um, fan socket thing. So, I've gotten my fan screws. We're pretty much, it's pretty, pretty simple. We're just gonna pretty much try to install, ah. Whoops, and there goes a screw right onto my hardwood floor. Which makes it a little bit easier to find and pick up. So in the description probably I'll include the CAD files for this build thingy. If you ever need a reduction bracket for some strange reason. Um, if you guys are watching this Friday, I believe it is September 1st, there's going to be a stream later tonight, um, as requested by my sort of following here on this website, so it is, it's going to be a payday too, but really the games are kind of open to whatever you viewers really want to see. Ah. That is of course after this gets done. We're just going to screw them a little bit in so that we can center it on our fan and then let the self-threading screws do the rest of the work. Ah, very well. So now we'll set it down onto here, where we will screw the bracket down onto the actual fan itself. Now be very careful when you do this, the material I used was plexiglass or is this even plexiglass I think I believe this to be plexiglass or no it's acrylic that's what I'm trying to say so acrylic does snap fairly easy so be cautious whenever you're you're trying to you're self threading acrylic because acrylic is a very intolerable material to say the least See if we can get that going there. Very good, very good. All right, so now that this mounting bracket has been put on, we're going to take off the weird little screw things here. And I will get back to you viewers uh, when I show you what the purpose of this is. All right, welcome back everybody. So, we're installing the this fan here over this fan socket because we do not currently have a fan in place of there but that's where we would like it optimally to go because this is right above the CPU cooler as shown here so we're just going to slip it over the top of this and screw it on the reason why we can't have another 120 millimeter fan right in the other spot is because of the CPU power supply that connects to the motherboard is right back here in this area and that prevents me from essentially screwing in another fan because it pushes the fan forward. I could just get a cleaner cable, however, but, but, meh. I'm kinda lazy. So we're gonna slide this case off here where you see a place where hopefully this fan will clear. And the other thing is I am not quite sure whether or not <clears throat> I have another motherboard socket for this fan. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. For this fan, but I suppose we will find out soon enough. So, we're going to take our fan. This is sketchy. Feels like it is slightly too big to slip up into there. Hmm. Okay. That's a thing. Let me think through this problem. Okay, so what I have done is I took out the other fan so I could slide this makeshift fan thingy up through here and it looks like the CPU power cable still is proving to be a bit of an issue. However, I have just seen the first hole line, so hopefully we can get the first, like, screw thing in there. 
without a problem because after all this bracket is pretty flat and is unlikely to cause any problems. So we're just going to take that Oh, hey, it went through fairly easily. Let's see if we can get the other one in. Oh dear. It feels like it's not secure in there, but I, I know that it is. It's just kind of stupid. At least the, dim the CAD dimensions are right, eh? The screws kind of do free spin, so moderately concerning, but I'm sure since they're threaded through, I'm sure this will not be a problem. However, now what is going to be a problem is finding a connection to the motherboard which I am not sure that I have. Wait, unless I have one underneath the CPU. But we're gonna check for that. Be right back. All right, so I figured it out a little bit. Now we have to get this fan back in the case. Just like so, because fans are wonderful pieces of technology. There we go. Mm. So now we're just going to pretty much screw this all back in place and light it up, see what happens. You know? Really kind of standard. Alright, um, I guess that was pretty, this rest of this is pretty much just me going to put this computer back together. So, hope to see you all on stream. Um, if you ever randomly need an adapter bracket, you know where to come. And, uh, yeah, I machined it out with a laser engraver with 8th inch acrylic, and it seems to work. So, no complaints here. But yeah, we'll fire it up, see what see what happens and if it works because I've like connected two strange like ports because I do not have I believe another fan port. So that'll be weird. But we'll see what happens. Or do I? No, I don't. Oh well. Alright, thank you guys. I'll see you guys later.